Now all the publicans and the sinners were drawing near unto him to hear him. And both the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake unto them this parable, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep and having lost one of them doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and his neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that even so there shall be joy in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine righteous persons who need no repentance. O oh, what woman having ten pieces of silver, silver, if she loses one piece, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she find it. And when she has found it, she calleth together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I found the peace which I had lost. Even so I say unto you, There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. And he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me a portion of thy substance that fallen to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there he wasted his substance with righteous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the country, and he began to be in want, and he went and joined himself to one of the citizens of the country, and he sent him into the field to feed swine. And he he would fain have filled his belly with the hus that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. But when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of the fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish here with hunger, and will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and in this thy sight. I am no more worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But while he was yet afar off, his father saw him and was moved with compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto his father, I have sinned against heaven, and in the sight I am no worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, Bring forth quickly the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring the fattest calf, and kill it, and let us eat and make merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again, and he was lost and now and is found. And they begun to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called to him one of the servants, and inquired what these things might be. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father has killed the fattest calf, because he has re received him safe and sound. But he was angry and would not go in, and his father came out and entered him. But he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, and I never transgress a commandment of thine, and yet thy never gavest me a, me a kid, and I might marry with my friends. But when this thy son came, who hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou 
killest for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that is mine is thine. But it was meant to take Mary, and to be glad. For this thy brother was dead, and is alive again, and was lost, and is found. This was the book of Luke, chapter 15.